hi guys welcome back to my channel if you're new my name is Lexis and on my YouTube channel I love to film videos that are makeup related um, cooking videos lifestyle and every now and then something fashion so I hope you guys enjoy today's video because it's going to be an Ulta Beauty haul don't forget to thumbs up because you all love me subscribe to my channel um, it would definitely mean a lot and we're almost at 200 subscribers now, which is awesome progress We're just gonna go ahead and get started. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and get started with what I got for free um, You know sometimes when you buy a certain amount on Ulta's website uh, Sometimes you get nice little goodies for free or they're doing a promotion where you get like a free bag of something And of all the bags I had to pick this one because it's super pretty and girly and I really liked it it's a cheetah print but it's like um, it's got like purple to it so you guys know my obsession with purple that is my favorite color so I was like I have to get this one so let's open it <clears throat> honestly there's a lot of it holds a lot of product in here so this is like the perfect like travel bag it's a little sample travel size of the CeraVe hydrating cleanser I've never tried this cleanser, but I'll zoom in a little so you guys can see it better. So, this is what it looks like. And again, I have never tried this cleanser, so I don't know how good it is, but since I have a travel size, this will definitely be something I will be trying out in the upcoming days or the upcoming week. And I'll have to keep you guys updated and let you know how good of a cleanser it is. A little sample size of the Purity Made Simple Moisturizer by Philosophy. So it looks like that. And I have not tried that product either. So a lot of these products I've never tried, but I'm familiar with. A First Aid Beauty Coconut Skin Smoothie Priming Moisturizer. So it says it's really great for sensitive skin. So it's a two in one basically, a primer, and a moisturizer so that's really really nice another thing that came in here uh, which I'm not a fan of personally this product but it is the brow power universal pencil by it cosmetics and this is in the shade universal taupe a sample of the Kula refreshing water mist sunscreen and it's SPF 18 I mean, this would still be something I probably would carry with me since it's a travel size this can be a nice like refreshing refresher spray to spray on your face like to help cool you off when it's hot um, and still give you a little bit of um, sun protection next we have a fragrance sample this is the aqua di Gio. I don't know if I said that right <laughs> by Giorgio Armani I have seen the commercial for this I want to say I have smelt this out in the like in the store before I can't remember so I'll keep you guys updated I guess this is the fragrance for women it says eau de parfum so look at me I still know some French you guys <laughs> let me let me just spray a little Ooh. oh my gosh you guys that smells so good oh I barely sprayed it and it's a nice I was gonna say it, it smells like a very sensual like sexy fragrance and that's so funny because when you open the inside it says the new sensuality <laughs> um, yeah it's definitely something sexy as far as the scent but it does smell really nice like this is definitely a, a confidence booster type of fragrance like um, like a boss biatch I don't want to say the actual word because I don't know if YouTube will cut that or like mark my video for that is a little sample of this clarifying scalp scrub by perfect shine um, I've never heard of this brand it looks like it's based um, uh, made in Tokyo is what I'm reading on here or no it says their lab is in Hollywood California but it just says it's nature lab Tokyo um, I've actually never tried an exfoliating scrub for scalp um, I hear like these can be good and bad if you don't you know how to use them is this juice beauty two-in-one cleanser um, I've never tried juice beauty but I've, I've seen a lot of their products 
in Ulta, of course. Super cute size of the Garnier Skin Active Micellar Cleansing Water, which I already have this in a big bottle, but I have the pink one. Um, I don't have the blue one. Um, I can't remember what all the colors are, but this one is pretty much the same thing as the pink bottle. It's all in one and also good for waterproof makeup. And this just really helps get rid of everything. Like I don't use this solely as a cleanser, of course, but like when I'm taking off makeup, this one is by Tula Skincare. This is their Get Toned Pro Glycolic 10% Resurfacing Toner. Um, this will definitely be a product I'm going to be using in my skincare or incorporating in skincare because I just finished using up the last bit of my current toner that I was using. This Fido Joba, I don't know if I'm saying that right, but this is a hydrating moisture mask for your hair. And this is what that looks like. So this is a 1.76 ounce. I don't know if this is a full size or not. Um, Derma Doctor Lucky Bamboo uh, Jukium. Jukium. I don't know if I'm saying it right. <laughs> uh, water gel cream. And this is what that looks like. So again, I don't know if I said the name right, but that is the packaging for this. This Bosha Luminizing Black Charcoal Mask is so, so good. Um, I have had this in a full size from my Sephora days and I absolutely love this mask. Um, I've used it, I've even used it on my husband, I've used it on my mom, my sister. We all have used this mask and it really does work. It pulls out a lot from your skin. Like you'll think you probably don't even have anything in your skin and it will reveal the truth, okay? <laughs> the next thing I have a sample of that I'm excited to try that I, because I haven't heard a lot of reviews on this, is the Smashbox Photo Finish Vitamin Glow Primer. Um, I know that's like their newest primer. And again, I haven't heard a lot of people talking about it. So I have been curious like as to how good or is it even like worth buying. I have a sample of the Styling Cream from Living Proof. Next, I have a cute little sample of the CoverFX High Performance Setting Spray. I have sprayed this on my face like in store um, in the past and it is a nice spray. I mean, it says it's a 24 hour setting spray. Does it work 24 hours? I don't really know. Um, the next thing we have are these Sweet Spot Labs 98% Natural Vanilla Blossom Grapefruit, Grapefruit Verbena Neroli Mandarin um, Individual Wrapped On The Go Wipes. So this is nice. Um, this says that it's naturally natural based ingredients. Um, helps maintain pH balance down there, ladies. I got a full size eyeshadow palette. This is from Juvia's Place. So now I have another eyeshadow palette to try out from their brand. Um, this is the Saharan palette. And I'm excited. I think that's awesome that you got this. And again, this is full size. But this is definitely really pretty to use. This is what the colors look like up close. So very nice variety of shades. Um, I feel like you could use this throughout the year based on what the colors look like here. Um, I feel like these would be nice summer and fall shades, really, if I'm looking at it. Just looking at it up close. So now we're going to finally move on to the part of the haul of stuff that I actually bought. Now, I didn't, I didn't realize there was that much stuff in that bag, so again, I really think that was nice to get. Um, but anyways, here's all the stuff I have, so let's go ahead and go through it. So starting off, this product I used this morning, so that's why another reason why I was like, I'm gonna be filming an updated skincare routine soon. Um, e.l.f. actually came out with a new collection of skincare. I haven't tried any of their other skincare products, but their eye cream really interested me that just came out. It is the e.l.f. Um, 50 milligram CBD eye cream, and this one is for soothing and reviving. It's formulated without alcohol, silicone, chemical sunscreen, dyes, SLS, mineral oil, sulfates, parabens, phthalates, artificial dyes, and gluten. And I tried it for the first time this morning, like I said, so for me it felt really refreshing. I really did enjoy it. 
um, and it dries down nicely like it doesn't flake or crumble up and a little goes a long way so you don't have to squeeze out a ton of product to really get good distribution um, very excited to finally have because I've been on the hunt for another vitamin C serum I have not had one in a while and the last one I had was from Ula Henriksen which I love that one that's my absolute favorite but Ula Henriksen can be a bit pricey and it is sold at Sephora and I just didn't want to spend that kind of money on vitamin C just yet so I was like let me look in Ult while I'm on Ulta's website shopping <laughs> see if I find something else I would want to try and I finally did so I'm taking it out of the packaging here oh this had really good reviews online and it was a more affordable price point for me so this is from the art naturals skincare line and this is the rejuvenating jojoba oil vitamin C serum so I'm very excited to try this and it's all natural paraben free and sulfate free again you really want to invest in your skin when it comes to skincare in my opinion I mean I know I just kind of maybe contradicted that because I mentioned I didn't want to spend the price point of the Ula Henriksen serum but this serum is just as good based on the reviews so I'm going to be trying this out like starting tonight when I do my nighttime skincare and you know probably use this twice a day as well and I will keep you guys updated on how well I like it but it was time to get a new serum so the next thing I ordered that I wanted to try is the elf jelly pop dewy primer um, I've heard some good things about this from YouTube other youtubers that have used this and reviewed it on their channels so this is supposed to be like a hydrating watermelon infused jelly pop collection um, it has like a jelly texture to the primer which I did hear a lot of youtubers say that but the way that it dries down it dries on sheer on your skin and gives you like a dewy finish it's actually cute packaging and I don't know how many this is one fluid ounce so I'm excited to try this primer I have been waiting patiently for Ulta to notify me through email when it gets back in stock because ever since I saw them launch this I have I had it in my cart with everything else I wanted to buy at the time and I tell you I went to go proceed and and finish my uh, purchase and it sold out just like that and it had just launched the same day so it has been out of stock for several weeks and when they notified me like a week ago that it was finally back in stock in my shade I was like I have to get it right now don't hesitate so I've been wanting to try these, uh, this bronzer from Makeup Revolution. They did a launch of these uh, Revolution Glow Ultra Matte Splendor Bronzers. And they only came out with like six, I think six different shades. And the shade that I needed based on other women of color reviewing this on YouTube, I needed the shade Dark. And this is the one that was sold out for the longest. This was such an affordable price and the the size of the product is worth the money like this is a huge size pan like this is as big as my hand a little bit bigger or as big as the palm of my hand and the packaging is everything like it's rose gold it's beautiful it actually feels nice like this doesn't feel cheap at all so when you get the packaging it just says glow and then you open it oh my god it's beautiful look how beautiful that is now on the camera like this looks like super light but I promise you guys this is the shade for me I've been trying to step up my game when it comes to lip products because you guys know I'm just like a simple gloss girl or a nice lip balm I don't really wear lipsticks lip liners so I'm trying to change the game up and and get into that a little bit so after doing thorough research online on YouTube Instagram I know a lot of women of color love this lip liner shade from ColourPop, so I went ahead and bought it so I can try it on myself. But this is the lip liner color BFF3, which is a nice blink like, brown. It's a nice nude brown, so I was like, okay, I probably like it. Lip color that I buy by um, NYX. It's their lingerie 
um, liquid lipsticks and I think it's the one called Teddy that is like my favorite dark brown to wear for fall and winter it's so pretty it's beautiful and um, anyway so I bought that lip liner and then a lot of girls I found like to buy the NYX butter glosses to wear with that if they don't buy lipstick to wear with that lip liner so a lot of common colors I heard about online to go well with this color lip liner by ColourPop is the NYX Butter Gloss in the shade Tiramisu or the one in Praline. Now it was really hard for me to decide because of the imaging is not the best on the website. So I bought the Butter Gloss in Praline as opposed to Tiramisu. Um, I felt like the Tiramisu shade was a little bit too pinky for me and I didn't want a super pink lip. So I just swatched the Praline color and it's like a nice nudie brown. I just bought one from the Ulta Beauty brand and this one is cranberry and pomegranate. So I think this is gonna be really nice on. But it says they're juice infused and very hydrating and they actually had really good reviews and these were only like $9. So I was like, oh, let me just try this one first and see how I like it. Oh, it smells really good. Oh. Oh, it feels nice on the skin. I just swatched it on my hand. You guys can't see the color. These are actually like supposed to be sheer, so it's not going to be like this color on your lips. But it feels very lightweight and smooth. It feels like a nice buttery like lip gloss. So I'm excited to try that. I think it will be nice and hydrating on the lips. Sample, they, they put this in my order as well, of the YSL Mon, Mon Paris fragrance. Um, I'm trying to get into fragrances more like I just I don't know you guys but me personally I just feel like I lost a lot of my mojo I lost my touch so I just I needed to order this stuff to kind of have a little pick-me-up because I even before the pregnancy like I just feel like I really lost myself a little bit I'm like I need to get back to my more feminine side of things and just get it, you know more into like I want to get into more like fragrances and like I said wearing like lipsticks or more lip colors and stuff just you know I'm gonna spray this too Ooh, now I like this but speaking of fragrances I did order a rollerball because I was curious about it and I wanted to try it but I heard of this all-natural brand called La Vanilla and I bought the vanilla grapefruit rollerball fragrance so they're all natural they use essential oils in their um, fragrances as well and there's um, no aluminum no chemicals synthetic dyes parabens sulfates phthalates mineral oils or silicone in their fragrances actually it doesn't smell bad it smells it does smell nice and like citrusy and then you get that hint of vanilla at the end the next thing I got was a creamy nude eyeliner I have been wanting to invest in one because um, you know I don't always like to wear my black eyeliner my waterline it's always like very dark and harsh and sometimes you want to look more awake and bright eyed and a lot of ways to do that is to wear a creamy nude um, liner on the waterline instead of black so I bought this one from Essence um, this is part of their extreme lasting eye pencil line and it says they're also waterproof which I didn't know that so that's that's nice to know as well good so you'll really get some nice glide with that can you see it yeah so super creamy again skincare should really be an investment if you want your skin to you know look its healthiest and look its best you know you should really make some time and effort into a scare a good skincare routine so um the brand the ordinary has some really nice face oils um they're actually i had the one i had before this one i bought from their line was the squalene oil which was really nice on the skin it feels so nice and light it's not super heavy thick and weighs you down 
Um, so I was like, I want to try the other one that they have in their line. And so this one is the, I'm itchy on my chin. This is their organic cold pressed rose hip seed oil. My last product, I wanted to buy another blush. Um, just in the past couple of years, I started getting into blush and now I love to have a nice pretty blush. So for the longest now, I've been using my ultimate favorite one, which is by Note Cosmetics. And it's, I think it's called Desert Rose. Yes, Desert Rose. It's such a beautiful blush and I love it so much. I wear it almost all year round because the undertone it has is beautiful in the springtime and summer, but it's also still nice to wear like for fall. And then in the wintertime, item from Juvia's Place. And I'm not sponsored by them. That'd be nice though. <laughs> um, I purchased one of their blushes. Um, Cause I'm like, let's get a black owned brand product in this order. Um, even though I got one for free from them, the palette, but I just wanted to buy something on my own. So this is their Afrique blush. And this is in the shade Serafina. Now I will tell you guys that packaging is beautiful. Look how pretty that is. My mom would love this packaging because it's pink and green. <laughs> the actual packaging of the blush is the same as the box. So that really makes me happy. Because that's so pretty. It's beautiful. So this is Serafina. And it is so pretty. I see why a lot of people said they love this as an everyday blush. And it's got a nice glow to it as well. It's very smooth, buttery consistency like their eyeshadows. So I'm excited to wear this. I cannot wait. Um, it's a nice nudie pink. I don't know how well it's showing it. Like um, to me, when I look at it on camera, it looks like a bronzer color, but it's really not you guys. Like it's a nice coral salmon pink is what I'm gonna um, explain the color as. So it's a cross between a coral and salmon color. That is pretty much it for my haul, you guys. So I got some really nice products I'm super excited to incorporate into my makeup routines and makeup looks. And again, I'm going to try to film a video tomorrow for my channel with all of this stuff or a lot of the makeup products at least. I hope you guys enjoyed my video for today. And I will leave links in the description box for all the products that I mentioned that I purchased. I'm not gonna link um, the stuff that came in the back because it's a lot of stuff and I just don't wanna link that because I didn't really buy that. So yes, everything that I bought will be linked in the description box below if you're interested in trying any of the items out. Um, let me know in the comments if you have tried any of these products I mentioned today and let me know how you like them. Um, leave suggestions for videos in the comment section as well because I do like to read those and and hear what you guys would like to see on my channel. Um, I love you all very much and I will see you in the next one. Bye!